Can I ask you to, to this one? She can stay there, but I just need that one seat. Okay? Hi, everyone. Sorry, I just got back from doing a tour, so I'm a little out of breath because I had to run over. I didn't realize you guys were getting on the bus already. Uh, my friend with the ice cream, please make sure you throw that away when it's done. Don't, do not throw it on the ground. I've had people do that to me. Please don't do that. Okay? Uh, Hi, everyone. Hi. So I'm a little out of breath. It's been a very uh, hot day, as you can imagine. Where are you guys all from? New York. New York. Col Columbia. Oh, Medellin, Colombia. So are you guys going to need translation headphones? No? That's fine. Okay, no necesito? All right, well, welcome aboard, everyone. My name is Bruce, but everyone calls me Uncle Brucey. And I'm going to make sure today that we see... All set. Oh, what's your name? Bert. Bert. I'm yeah. Bruce. Nice. Everyone... Nice to meet you. <laughs> everyone say thank you, Bert. Thank you. All right, now, guys, wait. Shaquina, I'm going to go downstairs. Now, guys, can I have everyone's attention for one minute? We have a lot, a lot, a lot of low branches. So when I say get down, I am not kidding. So let's practice. You ready? Get down! Fuck! We're going to have a fun time. I'm going to show you a lot of spots to get great photos. Hang tight, and I'm just going to go downstairs real quick and talk to Shaquina real quick. And then I'm going to ask you guys a trivia question. Shaquina, are you down here? Uh. <laughs> All right. Hi, guys. If you change your mind and you want to come upstairs, you must tell Shaquina, because while the bus is, is moving, you cannot walk up and down the stairs, only when we are stopped, okay, for the Mayan. So guys, was Pennsylvania, oh wait, wait, let me come up, sir. Let me come up, if you don't mind. Um, and I, Shaquina's our bus driver. <laughs> guys, my friend with the umbrella, no. You cannot have an umbrella on here because if it flies and hits someone and kills them, uh, and you'll end up in New Jersey if you fly away. So please, you cannot deploy an umbrella on our bus, okay? So guys, was Pennsylvania named after William Penn? No, it was named after his father, Admiral Penn, who fought a lot of wars for the King of England. And you know, William Jr., he got kicked out of his dad's house. You want to know why? Because he converted to a brand new religion called Quakerism. Quakers believe that everyone's equal. So they won't bow, they won't take their hats off, they won't sign, they won't sign oaths. And, the, and William got kicked out of his dad's house for being that. And then he reconciled with his father and his father took him back in. And uh, my friends, I'm, I need not to have people coming up and down the stairs, especially when the bus is in motion, okay? Um, his father took him back in and when the Quakers were being heavily persecuted by the King of England, William Jr. went up to the King of England. He said, King Charles, I know you don't like us, but you know what? We don't like you either. And you owe my family money. So instead of giving us money, why don't you give us land in the new world? And that's what he did. And William Jr. was going to call this Sylvania until the King of England said, no, I wouldn't name it after your father. We're going to call it Penns of Sylvania. Look at, hammers on the right. You're going to get Lady Liberty right there. Whoops. Sorry. Lady Liberty right there. And the eagle is on top of the snake that represents religious intolerance and who's seen Rocky so right there it says yo like yo Adrian I'm gonna try to make you guys laugh okay <laughs> uh, and you know that's the American Jewish History Museum when you come out of the American Jewish History Museum you know what it says it says oi like oi they okay maybe not guys <laughs> drink your water <laughs> uh, we're gonna see Christchurch coming up on the right, you're going to see a church off in the distance. Right there, that church right there, that's where seven signers of the Declaration of Independence went to church. Two of them were buried there, but they ran out of burial ground because people were dying to get in. So guess what? They bought five acres, two acres right here. Five more signers of the Declaration of Independence are buried right here. 
including Benjamin Franklin, who's right in the corner. Who knows Benjamin Franklin? He's buried right there. We're going to see him in about five minutes. Does anyone know who Betsy Ross is? No one? Do you know who Betsy Ross is? She sewed the American flag. And she was a Quaker also. And you know, the Quakers were pacifists. They didn't fight in wars. But one group of the Quakers weren't the fight in the American Revolution. And they had their own church right there. And Betsy Ross went to that church. This is the largest mint in America. They make a million dollars worth of coins every hour. Every hour. Can you believe that? And, and they just reopened to the public. And we're going to see the Lantern Festival. We have off to our left is Chinatown. And I want you to look down the street. And you'll see the Lantern Festival right there. Look look down, down this way. Uh, some, some of you in the front will see it. As we come around the corner, you'll see it. There, uh, unfortunately, I don't think you guys will have a chance to go in there, but it's, it's free until 5 o'clock. That's one of the original five squares in the pencil, in, in Philadelphia that's set up by William Penn, the founder of Pennsylvania. Who remembers William, uh, Benjamin Franklin and his kite flying experiment? you remember that? Did you learn that in school? You know that Benjamin Franklin did it right over there. There's a kite over there with a lightning bolt you see around the trees. So look on the left. Everyone look on the left. Look on the left. There's a lantern festival right there. Because that's part of Chinatown right there. And there's the kite right there. See the kite on the lightning bolt? Somewhere back there is where Benjamin Franklin did the kite flying experiment. All right. Who's ever seen the movie The Sixth Sense? I see dead people. Do you remember that movie? The church where the kid hung out in? One block over. You're going to see the church. It's called St. Augustine's. It's one of the first Catholic churches in the Philadelphia area. Right there. Look, look, guys, right there, right there. Now, guys, I'm sitting down because I got a lot of lip branches coming up. And guess what, kids? Where are my kids? Kids, guess what? You have a you have a you have a quiz at the end of the tour. I'm just kidding, you don't really. You have to spell sassafras for me. And in the corner, this was used to be Sassafras Street. All East West Streets in Philadelphia are named after trees. And if you look in the corner over here, it still says Sassafras right there. Sassafras, because this was Sassafras Street. All right, who likes Danny DeVito? And it's always sunny in Philadelphia. Yes? All right, we're coming up on... Oh, everyone, watch your heads. We've got a lot of little branches coming up. Watch your head. There is Patty's where, where, where the opening scene. Right there. Oh, my God, Danny's here. Quick, get your cameras out. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. He's not really there. Uh, yeah, I always get people to get excited about that. <laughs> now, in front of us is the Benjamin Franklin Bridge. 1.8 miles long, completed in 1926. And you know what? You could ride a bike across. You could walk across it. But you got to be careful because there's one major problem with the bridge. You know what it is? New Jersey is on the other side. <laughs> That's the problem with the bridge. Uh, anyone here from New Jersey? Anyone live in New Jersey? Yeah. I okay. So, oh, you you live in you live in New Jersey? Yes. Uh oh. So don't beat me up because I just made it. You didn't hear the joke I just made. I said, "What's pro what's wrong with the Benjamin Franklin Bridge?" You know what's wrong with it? New Jersey's on the other side. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Now she gets it. All right. <laughs> I'm trying to make you guys have a little fun here. I'll do this later. All right. Oh, look, everyone, it's Elvis. Elvis right there. And Charlie Chaplin. Look on the other side, on the left side. Get him, get him, get him. Right there. <laughs> All right, so this is Fireman's Hall. That was a fireman's museum right there. They have some of Benjamin Franklin's original equipment inside. That was a 1902 firehouse. They converted to museum. And camera's ready on the left. Camera's ready on this side. This is Alfred's Alley. The oldest continuously lived on street in America. The Billings hero from the 1720s to the 1840s. And you would have found Benjamin Franklin walking up and down the street. My friend in the back in the, in the green shirt, can you sit down, my friend? Thank you, buddy. Has anyone read Edgar Allan Poe? Yes. Did you ever read The Telltale Heart, where he kills the guy with the cataracts and he buries him under the floorboards? You see where it says Grossman right there? See Grossman? That's where he wrote it. Not that building, but a building that used to be there. And if you listen closely, you can still hear the boom, 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 the heartbeat of the guy he buried under the floor. If you've never read the Telltale Heart, read it. It's a short story. It's it's pretty uh, scary. scary. Have you read it? 
Yeah, so right there. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, watch out, my friend. This lady just about jumped in front of us. Now, who remembers Betsy Ross? Kids, you remember Betsy Ross, right? She sewed the flag. We'll come up in her house, right on the right. And you know she had three husbands? And they all died. Her first husband smoked some others, and guess what? He got next to some additions, and boom! He blew himself up. Her second and third husbands were pirates, like, Arr, you make these pirates. What, what's a pirate's favorite letter? No, it's C, and guess what? Her second and third husband got captured, see? The third husband's right there. Hi, guys. Third husband's right there, and guess what? She's buried there, but she's not buried there. They moved her three times, and they don't, they think she's not, when they moved her the last time, they couldn't find her bones, and they think she never got moved originally. She was a Quaker. Quakers don't believe in gravestones, so they never really moved her at all. Off to our left is a Quaker meeting house. There are 20,000 people, 20,000 people buried right here. Can you believe that? The camera's on the right, camera's on the right. Quick, 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 get that, look on the right. No, 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 get that photo right there on the right. That's Benjamin Franklin. That's called Keys to the Community. It's made out of 1.8 million pennies, or $18,000 in pennies. Because what's the saying? A penny saved is a? A penny earned. Camera's ready on the left. We're going to see Benjamin Franklin coming up. And you know he's buried with his wife, Deborah, his daughter, Sally, and his son, Frankie. He named his son, Frankie Franklin. And any ladies here are going to get married? Because if you throw a penny on his grave, right there, if you throw a penny on his grave and it lands heads up, guess what? You're going to have a great marriage. If not, best out of three. And you know Ben Jovi? Uh, she's throwing all my friends. Hello again. Hi, guys. They were my best last time. And camera's ready. we got to get the shot on the left. Everyone below, on the left. Quick, on the left. On the left, on the left, on the left. You want the shot. Oh, my God, this is a great shot. Look at that, Independence Hall. That building was built in 1733. That building is 290 years old. All right, does anyone know where the... That's the Constitution Center right there. Does anyone know where the real, real Constitution is? Not Nicholas Page's back pocket. And the National Archives in Washington, D.C. All right, who would like... Would you guys like a free $100 bill? Who wants a free $100 bill? That's the Federal Reserve. They print the money in Philadelphia. And guess what? When you go in, there's a great exhibit called Money in Motion. And when you come out of the exhibit, they will hand you a $100 bill. Of course, it's shredded, and it's in a baggie. And they had to use an algorithm to shred it because people actually tried to tape the money back together. <laughs> right in there, yeah, it's a really cool exhibit. It's a very cool exhibit. Bells right there. Is there anything to that also I can mm. talk about having to hear it? Thanks. Yeah. Yeah, because it interferes with me talking. Uh, and that is a federal prison. Don't wave. There are people really in there. Not a penitentiary, a prison. Ooh, be careful. They might lock you up. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. How you guys doing? It's a hot day, huh? Guys, drink your water. There's water in this backpack. And then look at this building that says the cast iron. Oh, that's the, the 13 bells right there. Those are called the whispering bells. They only ring when the wind blows because it represents the all the African-American slaves in America did not have a voice for 400 years. This is our cast iron building made out of all iron right there. And look at this building over here. Look at this artwork. We have a law in Philadelphia where every major building's got to put 1% of its cost towards art, and that's one of them. We're going to see a lot of them as we go along. And guess what, guys? Guess where we are? Who, anyone know where we are? We're, oh, we're, well, in Philadelphia, of course. We're in Chinatown. We're coming out, and you're going to notice there's four Chinese dragons in front of us. Each one of those dragons costs $300,000. It's part of our 1% rule right there. Hey guys, I'm sitting down because there's a very, very low signs coming up, so please do not stand. This is Chinatown. The first known business, and please don't grab them, because you'll pull them down on someone's head, okay? My friend, don't do that. Have your cameras ready. 
We're the fourth largest Chinatown in America. There's going to be a very large arch, a friendship arch. Cameras on the right. Cameras on the right. Get ready. You want to get this photo. Uh, it's made of all stone, plaster, and wood. There are no screws or nails used the construction nuts. On the right. Look right there, right there, right there. Right there, right there. Everyone go, ooh. Ah. And it's from our sister city of Shenzhen. Guess what our sister city got? They got a cracked bill. A copy of the Liberty Bill. Now, anyone play Monopoly? Who plays Monopoly? No one? No one plays Monopoly? You never played Monopoly? Try it once. You, you play Monopoly? Yeah. You know Monopoly was created right here in Philadelphia? But the, the babysitter stole the idea and changed all the names to Atlantic City, New Jersey. And my grandparents lived in Atlantic City, New Jersey. Did you ever play and get Ventnor Avenue, the blue properties? My grandparents lived on that property. Yeah. But you know what? The railroads are still here. You see this giant arch building right there? That's the Reading Terminal. Not Reading Terminal. Reading Terminal is a, uh, a train terminal until uh, from 1895 until um, 1970s, mid-70s. It's a wonderful spot for food in there. That's where they. Ha that's a farmer's market inside, the oldest farmer's market in America. Now, guys, we're going to see William Penn coming up. We're going to see City Hall on the left. So have your cameras ready on the left in a couple of blocks. And who likes Trader Joe's? I used to work at Trader Joe's. My favorite Trader Joe's is coming up in the next block. That tall building in front of us, that's called Comcast One. It looks like a memory stick, right? Yeah. Yeah, they, they don't like that name. So please call them that, okay? Because, you know, when you get your bill, you're paying all your money for nothing. Yeah, that, that's, that's them right there. Uh, the other building on the left, that spider building, that's called One Liberty Plaza. That was the first building to build above William Penn's hat. There was a tradition in Philadelphia that you were not allowed to build above William Penn's hat. We're going to see William Penn in a second, and you're going to see what I'm talking about. Uh, get ready. Cameras going this way. Cameras to the left. Cameras to the left. There he is. There's William Penn. That is the founder of Pennsylvania, right up there, right up there. And he's facing the river and the village of Shakamatsu, where he signed the peace treaty with Chief Tomahad. Uh, there's another shot. Cameras to the left. Cameras ready. Cameras ready to the left. Not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet. And now, get that shot of William Penn. That's the tall, now, that building was built between 1871 and 1901. There are 250 statues around by Alexander Milne Calder, including William Penn, who's 37 and a half feet tall, and he's 5,300 pounds. Off to our left, you're going to see the love statue. Coming up, coming up, we're going to see it again. We're going to see it twice. But hold on, there it is. There it is, there's the love statue. We're going to pass it again. You'll get a really close shot in about 15 minutes, okay, guys? Camera's ready. Camera's ready this way. This way, this way, this way. This is the best shot coming up. It says, I love Philly, not yet. You see it says, I love Philly and the fountain. As soon as we go a little bit farther, get the shot here. But adults, can I have all my adults, adults look at William Penn. That's his hand. Some of you guys will get it, some of you guys <laughs> won't. That's his hand up there, okay? Look, look at William Penn. That's his hand. That's his hand up there. Okay. Some of you guys get it, some of you guys don't. The kids don't look. It's not. For, it's not for the kids. It's not for the kids. All right. So have your cameras ready. You're gonna get a great shot with the I love Philly. Here we go. Here we go. Get ready. Get ready. Three, two, one, and now. Get that shot. Get that shot. Now, my friends, you see all these flags. They represent all the nations of the world that immigrated to Philadelphia. So for me, the Israeli flag, and also the flag of the Ukraine and the flag of Poland. That's the Holocaust Memorial right there. And that's the Basilica of St. Peter and Paul with this, with this cross up there, built between 1846 and, nine, and 1864. And if you look just beyond, you see the Ukrainian flag? Just beyond it is our Cardassian statue. It's a joke, it's not really our Cardassian statue. I, I knew everyone's like, really, really? Yeah, what, what? what are you talking about, what are you talking about? And you see that beautiful fountain in front of us? That's called Swan Fountain. Guess what? That was the edge of town in the 1800s. They used to hang people there. Yeah, they used to kill people right there. 
Uh, there's our Kardashian statue that I was talking about. Just a joke. And do you guys see the Swiss flag? You see a statue behind the Swiss flag? That gentleman is named Tadeusz Kosciuszko. He fought the American Revolution and he tried to free Poland from Tsarist Russia. Oh, 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 oh. There you go. All right. Oh, there's the Basilica of St. Peter and Paul. Good, that guy's. Isn't that beautiful right there? And kids, oh, get the shot of, of the swan fountain. There are three Lenny Lenape indigenous people all spouting water right there. And that's our natural history museum over there. There's a real T-Rex. Do you like it? Do you like dinosaurs? There's a real T-Rex in there. Kids, you want to see my T-Rex invitation? It's very lame. You want to see it? All right, here we go. I told you it was lame. Who remembers the film National Treasure? Remember the kid runs up the stairs of the Franklin suit? There's the Franklin suit right over there. And the bench was whooped by that globe right there. Now, anyone know about, oh, turn around, get the shot, oh my God, turn around, get that shot, get that shot, oh my God, look at that, it's gorgeous, get the shot, turn, 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 get the shot, it's a great shot. Now, what country do you guys live, what, we, what country are you from? Colombia. You're going to see your, oh, we just missed your flag, oh, wait, that's Costa Rica, yeah, did you saw it, did you see it, did anyone else see their flags? I have two ladies here from Colombia, they just saw their flag, the, there are a lot of, uh, who's not, anyone here not originally from the United States? What, what country? So the English flag, we'll see it coming up. There's also, every flag represents a portion of the population of Philadelphia that emigrated. So you may have grandparents or yourself or your great great grandparents, you'll find a flag along here that represents your country. Uh, did you ever hear of Edgar Allan Poe, right? You know his, his pet raven, Grip, is inside that building, in the free library, right inside there. And also one of the first editions of Edgar Allan Poe's The Raven is inside there as well, in the free library of Philadelphia. And my friends, everyone on this side, everyone on the right side, I have some very low trees. Everyone heads down a little bit, a lot of low trees coming up. This is the Barnes Foundation Museum, and those two obelisks are for the uh, 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 Civil War, right there. Watch out, we got a lot of low branches, guys, a lot of low branches coming up. I right, where are my married couples? Do I have any married couples on board? We're coming up on the Rodin Museum. This is the second largest collection of Rodin artwork outside of Paris. And look at the main black doors there. You see the black doors? Usually they're in wedding photos there. Those aren't black doors. That's a sculpture called The Gates of Hell from Dante's Inferno. Yeah. And we're a private tour, guys. Private tour. Now, Three buses passed us already. They all said full. Yeah, we're. This is a private tour. I know. I know. Thank you, cousin Bruce. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, guys. I wish I could pick you up, but they put me on a private tour for the end of the day. No space. So that's one of three thinkers right there. That's that's. You know the thinker. Right there. You want to know my nickname for the thinker? I call him the constipator. He's been there for 96 years. He's been there since 1926. How are you guys Thank doing you. back here? You guys having fun? Okay, uh, I'm trying you. to get you guys as many good photos as possible. All right. All right, so we're going to Anyone here ride a horse? Does anyone ride a horse? Who rides a horse? This neighborhood we're going into is called the Fairmont neighborhood. And because William Penn used to ride his horse in this area, one day he got off on the hill where the art museum is, and he said, gosh, that was a fair mount. At least you guys get it. And look, guys, there's a, this building in front of us is called the Parkway House. It's designed that every apartment gets equal length throughout the day. But you guys, get your cameras this way. After we pass these trees, you're going to get the three tallest buildings in Philadelphia. Comcast 1, Comcast 2, and 1 Liberty Plaza behind it. So have your cameras ready behind you, ladies, pointing this way. And we're going to see three tall buildings. The three tallest buildings in Philadelphia are going to be coming up, okay? As soon as we start moving. <laughs> Here we go. Get ready, get ready, get ready. Not yet. Wait for it, wait for it, wait, wait, wait. Come on, wait, wait. Three, 
So we're gonna see a a, 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 a pal not a palace, a mansion coming up in a, in a few blocks by a gentleman named Louis Bergdahl. And Louis Bergdahl brought the brought, was a brewer. There were lots of brewers in this area in, in the 1850s to the 1920s. But do you know what happened in America in the 1920s, anyone? Prohibition. And all the breweries went kaput. They got rid of all the breweries, yeah. You like beer? Yeah, me too. How's everyone doing? You guys having fun? Having fun? Yeah. Ooh, that's a good shot. Look at that. I like that. I like that. All right, my friends. Uh, now you're going to see the Art Museum off to the left, and then we're going to be seeing um, the Eastern State Penitentiary in just a couple more blocks. All right, my friends, off to our left is, is going to be the Louis Bergdahl. That's the guy who brought the breweries around here. It was an eight-bedroom mansion, and part of it was used in the filming of The Sixth Sense, and the inside they used part of it. Watch out for the trees, guys. Now, I'm sitting down, folks, because we have a lot of low branches coming up. A lot, a lot, a lot of low branches. And we're also going to have a very low cable coming up. So there's the Louis Bergdahl mansion. And guess what? Louis Bergdahl's son hid in that mansion for three years because he was German and he didn't want to fight against his German cousins. So from 1914 to 1917, he hid in there. And then his parents smuggled him out for $25,000, which was a lot of money back in 1917. Yeah, and his name, his son's name was Robert Cleveland Bergdahl. Like, like the president, Robert Cleveland. So guys, I have some very low cables coming up. Please do not stand the cables are very low, and then we're going to pass the Eastern State Penitentiary. That's not the cable. The cable is going to hit the back of my hand. Watch out. Please do not stand. Please do not stand. Here it comes. You see the cable right here? Like that, yeah. All right, this is called the Eastern State Penitentiary, and if you want to get a good photo, off to the right is the entrance. Built in 1836, neoclassical, uh, not neoclassical, neo-Gothic architecture designed to scare everyone. And do you know that Al Capone was in here? In 1920, 1929, Al Capone was going from Atlantic City, New Jersey to Chicago and he missed his train. And he went to a movie theater and someone ratted on him and they put him in there. But he had, the warden was his friend. So he had it really easy. He got dinner with the warden, visits from his girlfriend. Yeah, he wasn't doing any, any hard time in there. Uh, there's the entrance. Get that shot right there, guys, on the right. Now this street, oh, watch out, there's a low cable here. This street is called Fairmount Street, and uh, because this is the Fairmount neighborhood. And you see in front of us, it looks like a castle. That's not a castle, it's an old diamond. The best example of art deco in Philadelphia. And guess what? It's not all these angry animals. There's these strange building up here that are evil, and their eyes will look you in the eyes and they'll stare at you. So, Watch out again for my friends. I have a low sign coming up, a low sign. Please watch your heads, okay? Watch your heads. Do not stand. Can I have everyone please remain seated? Please remain. My friends in the back, duck down a little bit, please. Because right, this sign, don't grab the sign. You see how low it is? And then you see the squirrels up there in the corner? When we pass under them, look at them. It looks like their eyes are following you. It looks like their eyes go like this. They're really evil. All right. Please do not stand. Please stay low. Please stay low. Please stay low. Now look at this. Whoa! Look at the squirrel. Look up. See how he's looking down at you going, what are you looking at? Don't you look at me. You get away from my acorns. Who do you think you are? Yeah. Now look up. Look up. He's looking right down at us. You see him? Now here's the art museum. And underneath the art museum is, watch out for these trees. Underneath the art museum is a big old but look on the right, and there's Joni on a pony. That's Joan of Arc. And, uh, you know, that that's not gold. If it was gold, it would be the statue that used to be there. And guess what? Rings would be really cheap the next day. When I was growing up, she used to be green. And they restored her about 10 years ago. Has anyone ever heard of Grace Kelly? Princess of Monaco? Anyone? Kelly Drive. Yeah. But guess what? It's not named after her. 
Her brother was an Olympic rower, Jack Kelly, and this goes along the Schuylkill River and Boathouse Row, which is on the other side of the Art Museum, so it's named after her brother and not after Princess Kelly. Are you guys ready for Rocky? Yes. All right, let's do the Rocky theme. One, two, three. All right, let's do that again. One, two, three. Yo, Adrian! No, I'm not talking about the priest with the one arm. There's Rocky on the right, right there. You see him? Get your cameras out. On the right, on the right, right there. Get that shot, get that shot. Oh, how many steps in the art museum? Do you, does anyone know? 72. How many did Sylvester Sloan actually run up when he made the first movie? Only the last two. Yeah. Uh, there's Pip, get it right there, and in front of us, to the left, is the Washington Monument. That's Washington leading his troops in the battle, right there. And guess what? That's only Washington's head. It's a real class of all of his head, but not his body. Now, that used to be the back of the Art Museum, not the front. The other side. And get a shot of the Washington Monument. That's George Washington right there, guys. That's George Washington. And you see that church behind it? That's the St. Clement, the, the St. Uh, Xavier church behind it. But guys, please watch your heads. I got some very low, low branches coming up. We're going to do a little song. George, George, George of the jungle. George. Friendly as can be. Watch out for the... Oh, oh, I forgot. We're going in the middle way. We don't have to worry. I can stand up again. I forgot. We usually go on the outside on our regular tours, but on this side, we're going on the inside. And then look for your flags, guys. Your flags might be long here. The flags are all in alphabetical order. All right? So, uh, now, Luxembourg. Now, one of my grandparents would have been Liechtenstein, but the flag's not there because there's not enough people uh, along here. And there's another great shot of William Penn right there in City Hall. And those are, the, like I said, the two tallest buildings. That tall building is called Comcast 2. And on top of that tall building, you see the, the, the building with the inappropriate hand gesture? Or the cigarette building? Yes. There is a, um, there's a restaurant on top. And the Four Seasons Hotel, guess how much a meal costs on the top? $100. $198. So if you can afford that, you're not going to be on our bus, right? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and off we're going to see off to the right, we're also going to see the Franklin Institute. Does anyone like science? That's the, it's the main institute. Every sixth grader goes there for their first outing. So guys, please drink your water. If you haven't been drinking any water, make sure you drink some now, okay? Because it's a hot day. Oh, there's a great shot of the Swan Fountain in front of us. Have your cameras ready. And around the Swan Fountain, you're going to see three little and out bandages. There's people. They represent the three waterways in the bucket. Uh, if you're here in Philadelphia, you say water. You don't know what to say. You say water. So if you're going to water, you can use blue and school kill. Turn around. Get that shot behind us, too. Oh, the Art Museum. Oh, that's a great shot with the Ferris wheel. And then... Get, oh my god, get the shot. This is the shot. Look at that. The two tallest buildings in Philadelphia. City Hall, Swan Fountain, and the Basilica of St. Peter and Paul right there. Built between 1864 uh, and 18, 1846. That's our free library of Philadelphia. And you see the two obelisks behind us? Those are for the Civil War. The one on the left is for the Union Navy and it has a quote from Lincoln that says... In freeing the slave, we guarantee freedom for the free. And on the other side, we passed it, but I didn't get a chance to talk about it. It says on the top, one country, one constitution, one destiny. There's our Franklin Institute. Uh, they have Harry Potter in there. I'm House Gryffindor. What's your house? Slytherin. You got the Slytherin colors. You can tell. <laughs> That's our Natural History Museum. There's a real T-Rex in there. And you can see the, the dinosaurs in the front, right there. If you look inside, you might see the T-Rex coming up. And then get the shot of, of the Swan Fountain. That's a great shot. Do you know they used to kill people right there? That They used to, have, they used to hang people right over there. That's a great shot. Get that shot, guys. Oh, my God. And then coming up on our right, we're going to see this is this gentleman is named Tadeusz Kosciuszko. He fought in the American Revolution, and he tried to free Poland from Tsarist Russia. That's the smallest national monument in the United States, right there. 
And then, of course, City Hall. But between 1871 to 1901, there are 88 million red bricks behind the facade of that building. 88 million red bricks. That's why it took 30 years ago. On the right, you're going to see the Holocaust Memorial. Right there. I remember when I was 13 when they dedicated it. And there's our great shot. Oh, quick, get the shot, get the shot. I'm gonna get out of the way so you guys can get the shot. I'm gonna move out of the way so you guys can get this shot. That is the money shot. I forgot we come back this way. So get that now while you can't hear. I'm gonna duck down so you guys can all get that. Can you get it all right? That is a great shot. This is a perfect time of the day. And you notice the stone? Oh, who's been the lunch? My friends from, from the UK. What is bigger? The clock at the tower of Big Ben. I know Big Ben's the bell, not the clock. What's bigger, the clock at Big Ben or that clock? That's seven meters and Big Ben's six meters. So that's bigger. Because Big Ben is lower to the ground. And it, 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 it looks like it's bigger because it's much closer than that. That's about 40 stories tall, so it looks like it's, it's smaller. So, and just, what's that? I bet, I bet, no, I, I'm sure did because it's older. And you know, just like Big Ben got restored and it was in the scaffolding, same thing in the 80s, they were restoring it because the top part was all dark city. And I have a pin at home that says, free William Penn, because it was like he was in jail for 10 years. <laughs> just, and here's our great shot. Now we're gonna go in front of the love statue. So we're gonna go turn around the corner, you got another shot of the love statue on the right as we come up and then did anyone ever see the movie Trading Places with Eddie Murphy, Dan Aykroyd, and Jamie Lee Curtis? Do you remember in that... Did you guys ever watch that movie? Do you remember when Louis, Dan Aykroyd, is on his knees and he's begging Ophelia to take him in? There's a giant clothespin behind him. We're going to see that clothespin in a couple of blocks. Uh, but have your cameras ready on the right. Here comes the love statue. This is your only great shot you're going to get of the love statue. Get ready. Get ready on the right. Get ready on the right. There it is. Get that, get that, get that, get that, get that, love statue, love statue. That's your great shot, now that you're close. And you know, you know what, you know, you know, do you know why the O's on its side? Because love ain't easy. And there's a bigger copy of it in, um, in Los Angeles. Now get ready, that giant clothespin I was talking about. Oh, get that shot of the cathedral, of the Basilica, of the Masonic Temple right there. And then camera's ready on the right. And look at this giant cross pit. This is from Klaus Oldenburg, who designed ordinary things and head stuff. It looks like two people hugging and kissing right there. And you know, Klaus Oldenburg passed away on Monday. So please get a photo because he passed away on Monday. All around City Hall, I was telling you, there's 250 statues by Alexander Bill Colton. And uh, did you know that the British coat of arms on July 8th, 1776, was carried around the city after we announced the Declaration of Independence and burned right in here. And that's Octavius Cato. He desegregated the Philadelphia trolley system. And you see it says justice up here? Justice. You see it says justice? The Supreme Court of Pennsylvania meets right above it. And that's Moses right there. You see Moses? Right there. And look, as we pass on the right, you're going to see a beautiful neoclassic Greek architecture building that looks like the Parthenon. It was an old bank. Get ready. Cameras on the right. Cameras on the right. Cameras on the right. You're going to get this beautiful 140 foot dome uh, coming up on the right. As soon as we start moving, you'll get a chance to see it. All right? Get ready. Wait. There it is. Quick, quick, quick. Get back, get back, get back, get back right there. Look at that dome. That beautiful. Neo classic. That was a back. That's the old Gerard Trust building. And right in front of us, this is the old John Wanamaker building. You know, Mother's Day started in the UK 300 years ago, right? It only started in America in 1914 in this building right here. Someone went back to England, thought it was a good idea, and brought it back to America. And John Wanamaker, this was one of the biggest department stores back in the turn of the 18th to the, the 19th to the 20th century. And he adopted it. Because of that, it became, oh. Welcome to Philadelphia. Yeah, people have very little patience in Philadelphia. 
And yeah, look at this beautiful Market Street National Bank. This beautiful, yeah, this beautiful Art Deco building. Look, look up there, guys. Look, look up there. Get that shot. Isn't that cool? So we're back on Market Street, and we're going to see the Reading Terminal, the terminal that was part of the Monopoly piece. But we're going to see it from the other side. I want you to have your cameras ready on the left. Cameras ready. This building coming up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, get ready, on the left, this is the old train station. That's the Reading Terminal, remember I was talking about Monopoly? That's it, but look up here, get the, get, get the guitar, get the guitar! And you see on, on top it says Philadelphia and Reading. That's a great shot right there, you want that shot. That building was built in 1895. Are you guys having fun? Can I get a big round of applause for Shaquina below? You know, it's not easy driving through Philadelphia. She, she treats us really well. And she's down there. There's no air conditioning all day. So she's working her tushy off for sure. Uh, but get the shot if you can. And you guys, you know what this, you've heard of the Philadelphia 76ers, right? Yes. Our basketball team, and guess what? They're going to build a new stadium. Right where this, this, where it says AMC, this is going to be their new stadium in 2031. They're going to build a brand new stadium. They just announced it this week. The Philadelphia 76ers are building a brand new stadium right here. They're going to tear down this part, and they're going to build it. Because right below is a train. And there's several trains that all converge in this area. There are several different train stations right below us. One of them is called Jefferson Train Station. Speaking of, you, you've heard of Thomas Jefferson, right? Yes. The third president of the United States, the guy that wrote the Declaration of Independence, we're going to pass the building he wrote it in. It's a reconstruction of the building, but we're going to see it coming up on the right-hand side in a couple more blocks. Watch out, my guys, friends, watch out, watch out, heads down. This is our uh, United States court building right here. And there used to be a, a giant presidential palace here at one point that only lasted until the 1830s because this was the first capital of the United States and they wanted the capital to be here permanently but it never happened and the building got destroyed. The next, in two blocks, in two blocks we're going to see where Thomas Jefferson wrote the Declaration of Independence. There's a building called the Graff House. We're going to see it on the right. I want you to have your cameras ready for that, okay? And also that other building with the white, that's our old Lip Brothers department store. When I was growing up, that was the place we went Christmas shopping. In front of us, two blocks in front of us. Hey guys, how you doing? They were on my bus earlier today. You guys are my last tour in two days in a row of tours. <laughs> Alright, uh, this is a little bit, oh, you know we have 30, look at this, get this, get this shot. We have 3,600 murals all around Philadelphia. We have a project in Philadelphia called the Mural Project. And it was designed to get all of the graffiti artists off of the street. And turn around, you see where it says PSFS? That is the very first building in Philadelphia and on the East Coast that's a modern international style that had air conditioning. Built in 1928. One of the very first buildings with air conditioning in the Philadelphia area. Camera's ready on the light. Oh, got the hat? Ooh, don't lose the hat. Camera's ready. Here's where Thomas Jefferson wrote the Declaration of Independence. Right there. That building. See, it says Thomas Jefferson. On the right. On the right. Get that photo. That's where he wrote the Declaration of Independence. That's the Declaration House. Now, that's a reconstruction. The original house was not was torn down. But they rebuilt it. So, guys, we're coming to the end of the tour. I hope you guys enjoyed yourself. Did you have fun? Did you get good photos today? Uh, I just wanted to, to uh, if you liked our tour, we're called City Sightseeing Philadelphia. And as you know, tips are half of our income. And if you like the tour, Shaquina and I, we split our tips. We have a tip jar below. Anything you leave us, thank you in advance. We're going to be coming to a stop soon. And then uh, you'll be able to go see the Liberty Bell. And do you know where President Washington lived? Right in front of us is where President Washington lived, and also President Adams, but not the Adams family, like, no, 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 not that Adams family. And the Liberty Bell is right over there, 
And you see where the three windows are there? That's the inspiration for the Oval Office right there. And the building right in front of us, that is where the uh, Congress met. Top floor was the Senate, below was the House of Representatives. The Liberty Bell is right over there, but we won't be able to see it until we come around the corner. And are you guys going into Liberty Bell next week? Where are you guys going next? Oh, you're going home. So where's home again? New York? No, I'm sorry to hear that. And you guys had fun today? It's a hot day, I know. Did you guys drink? Now, guys, do me a favor. Uh, so you're going right on the bus and going right home? If you can, get yourself uh, ice cream with these trucks. This is the quintessential ice cream in Philadelphia. That's Mr. Softy. Those trucks haven't changed in 50 years. They look exactly the same when I was your age. So at least, I'm glad you guys had a good time. If you have any trash, I do have a trash bin below, and I would ask you to please you know, grab your trash and bring it. But have your cameras ready on the right. Because this building uh, from 1733, we got the far away picture. That's George Washington on the right. And the three shades that are down, that's where the Declaration of Independence and the Constitution were debated. And the Liberty Bell is right over there on the left. So guys, thank you again. And and uh, this is the supreme. This is where the Supreme Court met. That's called the old City Hall. That was the first city hall in the Philadelphia area. And that green building over there, that's where the um, that's the second bank of the United States. And anyone watch Hamilton? You know Hamilton's office is two blocks down, where they had his office. Why he was the Secretary of Defense of, 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 of State. Thank you again, my friends. If you have any trash. Please bring it down. I have a trash can below. Enjoy the tour. I do have a tip jar here. We do appreciate anything you leave us. Shaquita and ourselves, we do school the tips. Come on down, guys, and thank you again. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, guys. If we thought we did a good job, tip jar right there. Thank you again, my friends. I hope you guys enjoyed the tour. And uh, thank you, my friends. Thank you again. Photos, tip jar right there if you thought we did a good job.